Hey guys, welcome back to part 3 of our series where we are making a Discord bot with discord.py rewrite. Uh, today we're going to be doing some moderation commands. Uh, we will be redoing some of these later on once we cover a few other things. But these are just the basics and uh, things that don't require things that we're going to learn later to work. So uh, the things we'll be doing today are purge command, a kick command, a ban command, and an unban command. And then if we still have time, we'll do a mute and unmute as well. So first thing we're going to do is the purge command. So if we go to the rewrite docs here, and this is where it's saying where everything was changed from the old stuff to the new stuff. So if we go down here to client.purge from, that's been changed. So it's now text channel dot purge. So if we look here, it defines the channel is deleted is the channel that we're using dot purge, how many messages to delete. And then you can check if it's a user as well. And then you can send how many messages were deleted. So lin deleted will get you the number of messages purged. So we're going to go into our code here. And then we're going to do at bot.command async def purge. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do ctx, which like we said in this ping command, that's the person and where it's, it's basically gathers all the info of where the command is used and who used it. So we'll do that and then we'll do number init. So that's like uh, a num init is just a number equals none. So this way we can check if they don't put in a number. So then we'll do if ctx.message dot author dot guild permissions dot manage messages. So this checks if the person using the command has the permissions to manage messages. So if they can delete messages from other users, then they'll be able to access this command. So if they do, we will try if number. So if this right here is none, and we'll put in embeds later. So for now, I'm just going to do basic messages here await ctx.send you must input a number and then we will just do here else so this is if the number is not none so if the number is something then we'll do deleted equals await ctx dot message dot channel dot purge and then the limit so that number we saw in the docs here this limit is going to equal number so if they run the command purge 50 that'll delete the last 50 messages and then we'll do await ctx.send, so the channel that the command was used in, messages purged. And then we'll do these, so those are the little code blocks in Discord. And then we'll put our formatting thing in there. So messages and then like it showed in the doc there, lin deleted. And then if we want to, we can also put purged by. So it's saying who purged it. 
because it will delete the command as well since that's in the line of messages to be deleted and then we can just do ctx.message dot author dot mention so this mentions whoever used the command and then we're going to go back here to where we put try and then do accept so if this is if for whatever reason it does not work with either of these it'll run an exception or with a few other things it'll run an exception so for this one this exception would usually just be they can't purge messages the bot cannot purge messages in that channel so ctx.send i can't well okay so here's a good example of uh, two ways you can do this so i usually use these for most things putting in like this but if you want to do like can't it makes it a little annoying so you can also just use the quotes here like this i can't Purge messages here so that'll let you use uh, the commas and stuff there so we're gonna go down here so this is where the if was so this is where it was checking if they have that permission so if they don't have that permission we're gonna do await ctx.send you do not have permissions to use this command so if they don't have the manage message permission or if they have admin they'll autom automatically be able to manage messages so that'll work as well so if they don't have manage message permissions it will basically just send them this and says that they can't use that so if we save our file here and then we run python main.py and then run into, we'll just go to general and test here. So I am online. And then we will do, if we go back up here, we had our prefix as exclamation point. So if we do purge five, that got rid of those five welcome messages there. And then it's saying messages purged by my me, Jared, five. So that works. And then if we, I don't have anybody else to test it right now, but if they say, say Dark Phoenix tries to use this command, it would send him to this else here and tell him that he does not have permission to use that command. So uh, the next command we're going to be doing is a kick command. So just to kick a user from the Discord. So we'll do bot.command. async def kick and then we'll do ctx again because that's just good information to keep on there user and then we're going to want discord dot member there's also discord dot user but discord dot member makes sure the user is in the discord you're currently in and then we'll go ahead and get reason So if we do, and actually let's go ahead and make that equal to none. So now if we do, if user, so we're checking if this user here has guild permissions dot manage messages, we're not going to let the bot kick them because they are most likely moderator. We don't, we want to try to prevent any you know users from abusing the commands so the way we're going to do that is making sure you know moderators can't kick moderators etc so we'll do that and then we'll just do await oh, already put await ctx.send i can't oops i can't kick this user because they are an admin slash moderator so now if we do illif so that's if it's it's another if statement but it's also you know 
else. So if it's not this, but it is this, we'll check as well. ETX dot message dot author dot guild permissions and then we'll do the com permission dot kick members so this is checks if they have the permission to kick anybody from the discord because we don't want like you know just somebody that only has permissions to manage messages to be able to kick people from the discord or we don't want just normal users to be able to kick people from the discord so then we're going to do if reason is none. So if they don't give a reason, then we'll do uh, await ctx.kick. Sorry, ctx.guild.kick user equals user. So it's getting the user. And then reason equals none so they did not give a reason so we will just put none in as the reason there and then we will say wait ctx.send and then we'll put this here user dot name actually we will just put user so this gives the user and the numbers after so the discriminator has been kicked so this will not mention them because if you try to mention them when they're not in the discord it can sometimes bug out and just give you their ID and we don't want that. So if the reason now we're going to do else. So if the reason is not done, if the reason is there, we'll do await ctx.guild.kick user equals user and then we'll do reason equals reason. So the reason we put a reason is because um, in the audit logs on Discord, the built-in audit logs, uh, these here, it will register a reason for why they were kicked. And then anyone that can view the audit log can see why that member was kicked. So, and then we're going to do await ctx.send, and then same thing as we did up there. User has been kicked. So if we go down here to this else now, this is going to be where we tell if anybody, if these don't run already, that means that person does not have permission to kick. So we'll just do await ctx.send you do not have permissions to use this command. So we will go ahead and save that and then we're going to restart the bot. If any of you don't know how to just turn off the terminal, you can either, if you're using Visual Studio Code, press this kill terminal button or if you click on the terminal and then control C and hold that down for a minute or two, it'll kick itself offline. Um, next episode we'll go over a shutdown command that makes this a lot quicker. And next episode we're also going to be going over Cogs, which is kind of just a way to keep everything working properly and a lot faster. Plus it just keeps you organized if you're one of those people that need to be organized. This will help a lot. Um, I use Cogs for just about everything. Um, so we'll do put this bot back online and then wait for it and then we'll just go ahead and kick we'll kick my alt here so kick abject so he is now gone abject eden has been kicked so that command works so if we now go to here and do at bot dot command async def ban so we're going to once again put ctx and then user discord dot member and then once again can provide a reason if they want to 
And if we're being completely honest, this command is basically just this command. So really all you need to do is copy this and paste it down here. So we're just going to copy this, paste it down here, and then we're going to change up a few things. So instead of kick members, it's going to be ban members. And then instead of guild.kick, it's guild.ban. And that is literally the only difference between those two commands. Uh, it works exactly the same, except it bans them. Um, but other than that, it just works uh, really the same. And if you guys are wondering why we're not going over like errors, so if they don't put in a user, that's going to be a video separate to this, and that'll be coming up after COGS. So we're going to just be going over the basics, and then we'll do errors after COGS. Okay guys, so uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. Like I said, next episode we'll be going over COGS, and then after that we'll be going over errors. So if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like and be sure to subscribe. Uh, we'll be trying to get these videos out every every day, every other day, somewhere along those terms. Um, if you guys want the Discord link to my Discord here is in the description. Go ahead and join. I'll, I can answer any questions you have here. And I'm always just online if you need just want to talk. Um, so I will see you guys in the next episode and hope you guys enjoyed.